Hey, what's going on? Benji Kaiser here today talking about GPU. So the graphics processing unit. Is this important for graphic designers? Is this something you need to make sure is high performance in your computer for graphic design if you want your computer to run fast, if you want your computer to be efficient? So we're going to talk about that right now. But before we jump into the content, if you've yet to subscribe to this channel, I highly recommend doing so. I put out daily videos helping you in the graphic design industry. All right, so the reason this video is coming out because I put out a video recently about the best specs for graphic design computers. Now, I only listed three. It was RAM, hard drive, as well as processor. The reason I left out the graphics processing unit is because if you're generally a graphic designer working in Adobe Illustrator, InDesign, or Photoshop, you do not have to worry about having a high performance graphics processing unit. That's mainly if you're into Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere Pro, and if you're using tons and tons of layers in Adobe Photoshop, but that's, that's pretty rare for this case. So I created this video as a response to the questions I received in that video. You do not need a high performance graphics processing unit. You'll be completely fine with what has become pretty industry standard with most high quality laptops, either the GTX 960, the GTX 1050, etc. Now, some of you might comment and say, those are really expensive graphics processing units, and those are still really expensive. Like, what is wrong with you? Well, uh, what I'm trying to say is you don't have to get the 1070 or the 1080 or whatever 10,000 is coming out next. I just recommend 16 gigs of RAM, a solid state hard drive, and an i7 processor. Whatever graphics processing unit comes with your computer when your computer has those specs should be suitable. But if you're considering getting into video editing, if you're considering getting into motion graphics like with After Effects, then you should think about getting a better graphics processing unit. Something like the GTX 1060 to the 1070 would be a good starting point. If you think you're going to go really hard into it, then you should do 1080 or above. This will just give you better rendering times, better load time, speed, etc. So I hope that's answered your question today about the best graphics processing unit for graphic designers and if they're even important. And as you've learned from this video, unless you're doing video editing or After Effects, they are not. So I hope that solves all your questions. I will see you here on the next episode. My name is Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com.